What It Means When a Man Falls from the Sky is a 2017 collection of short stories by Nigerian author Leslie Neka Arima. Each story follows a different Nigerian woman who tries to flourish despite the odds stacked against her in a racist and misogynistic society. Alternating between Nigeria and the United States, as Arima herself has moved throughout her life, the stories tie together the common problems Nigerian women experience in the 21st century. The collection transcends genre, incorporating realism, magical realism, mythology, and science fiction into stories that defy logic but explicate the inner lives of their characters and the effective landscapes they are embedded in. In the first story, the future looks good, a girl breaks up with her boyfriend, deranged and self-righteous. He shoots the girl's sister to enact revenge. The story comments on the casual substitutions and scapegoats that misogynistic men tend to make in scenarios where they feel thwarted. In a wild, an American-Nigerian girl, Ada, gets into trouble and is sent to Nigeria by her mom to live with her aunt and cousin. Soon after arriving, Ada realizes that her cousin, Chinyar, is far worse behaving than she ever was. Chinyar is emotionally abusive to Ada, forming resentment toward her without any real reason. The tension culminates when Shinya ditches Ada in the city, knowing that she can't find her way around, and has neither a cell phone nor a car. The story Light examines the effects of moving from Nigeria to America. A Nigerian man sends his young daughter to America to be cared for by her mother, a career-oriented woman who is less than nurturing. The girl, formerly an exuberant and hopeful person, becomes disillusioned and sad. Second Chances puts a magical realist spin on the subjects of grief and memory. Following a girl whose dead mother comes back to life by stepping through a photograph, she resumes life as before, with uncanny precision, then calmly steps back into the photo at the end of the day, leaving the family she left behind to wonder why or how she came back. Windfalls takes place in America, depicting a complex case of child abuse for monetary gain. A mother stages her child's injuries in grocery stores, then files injury lawsuits and cashes in on her winnings. The story, Who Will Greet You at Home, takes place in an alternate universe in which mothers build their children out of raw materials, rather than conceive them through gestation. This magical realist feature lends itself to commentary on American wealth inequality and the aesthetics of classism, showing how rich mothers and their children gain social capital from their significations of wealth and status while poor ones feel thwarted and useless. Butchie's Girls also comments on wealth inequality, but takes place in Nigeria. Here, a woman named Buchi becomes a single mother to her two daughters, one six and the other twelve, after their father dies in a car crash. They move into the house of Buchi's sister who is married to a rich man. Buchi's sister proves to be oppressively domineering, causing Buchi to feel helplessly trapped. The science fiction story, What It Means When a Man Falls from the Sky, takes place in the late 1900s, but an alternate one, in which novel discoveries in math have endowed those who truly understand them with superhuman powers. These individuals, after reveling in their abilities, begin to notice things going awry. They realize that their equations contain numerous hidden errors that ultimately cause more harm than good. Gloria follows a Nigerian woman who grew up in Minnesota but moved back to her homeland. Feeling that she doesn't belong there and that her life has little meaning, she thinks about killing herself. Ironically, she is pulled out of her depression by a happy-go-lucky Nigerian man with whom she barely relates, but who inspires her to re-envision her life. What is a volcano is a parable in which two deities, the goddess of rivers and the god of ants, dispute their responsibilities and rights. Arima's collection reframes common topics of immigration, identity, domesticity, love, and grief infusing it with her distinctive voice and experience as a Nigerian woman. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.